Is it hot in here for anyone else, or is it just me? Not at all. I'm actually feeling a bit chilly. No, seriously, it feels like we're on Mustafar. I'm burning up. Uh, we're not on Mustafar, Anakin. It's just so hot in here. I wonder if maybe there's a reason. Oh, he's just doing one of his- Ever since I walked in here, this whole room has been steaming. I must be the cause. You ain't all that, Anakin. You're going to have to control yourself this time. Your wife is coming to join us any second now. I know, and I made sure to look extra handsome for her today. You know, our relationship has been very healthy lately. Well, that's good, Anakin. I'm happy for you. A healthy relationship understands the value of one another's alone time. It's good you finally learned that. Well, mostly thanks to you guys. You guys didn't pull me back out of the world between worlds after I died in the last episode for almost a week. And that gave us all a bit of a break from you. I gotta admit, it was nice. I'm thinking we should get away from him more often. We can start a galactic no Anakin day. Oh, well, I didn't realize you guys hated me so much. Don't think of it like that, Anakin. Think of it as... as if we're taking a vacation all about you. Don't worry, Annie. I still love you. If anything, that week made me realize how much I need you for my life to feel whole. Oh, that's sweet, dear. I love you, too. More than anything. Right. Well, if you're both done being all goopy and stuff, we should move on. It's nice to see you, Padme. Now we still need to work out a plan. The world between worlds is becoming increasingly unstable. Yeah, every time we go in there now, it just gets crazier. Uh, that doesn't sound safe. What on Naboo have you guys been up to in the last few episodes? It's, it's Anakin's, Anakin's fault. fault. Way to sell me out, guys. Well, we just don't know enough to properly fix it. The world between worlds is uncharted territory. Maybe you guys should find someone in the world between worlds that may know how to fix it. That's what I'd do in your situation anyway. That's actually a pretty genius idea, Padme. See, guys, I married her for her brains, not her boobs. Uh, not sure anyone was questioning that. I haven't chosen the guest in a while. I'll go find someone. You three just stay put and try not to cause any trouble. So, Padme, how's it been going with the whole senator job thing? Oh, it's all boring. Mostly been working on a proposal with Senator Orgona. I don't like how much time you spend around him. I don't like how jealous you get over everything. Relax, Anakin. Bale is just a friend. So you say. But I don't know if I'd want to be just friends with a man like that. You do work with Obi-Wan, Anakin. Exactly. And I think about doing stuff with him all the time. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Ew, Master, what is wrong with you? Remember, Snips, I'm traumatized. That makes it okay to say things like that. Whatever you say. All right, everyone. The portals seem stable for now, but I got someone who might be able to help us. Wow. I can't believe this. In all my years of study, I, I never thought something like this would be possible. Who's this handsome stud? Gonna stop you right there. I don't need this family to get any more incestuous. I'm your son, Luke Skywalker, Jedi Grandmaster. Hey, we've heard of you from your sister. Wait, did you say Jedi Master? Grandmaster. Don't forget the grand. It's important. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, if I had known you were another child of Anakin's, I would absolutely have not chosen you. Ben, please. I want to help you in your endeavor, and I feel like I'm quite qualified to help. Oh, you're familiar with me? Yeah, I think I've met most of you at one point or another in the future. A Jedi Grandmaster! My goodness, you really climbed all the way to the top. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, thanks. But it wasn't like there was fierce competition. You seem awfully calm about being pulled into the past, Luke. Has this happened to you before? No, not at all, but I've heard of the world between worlds. Leia told me about the time you all grabbed her. I've been waiting for the day you'd find me for years. These mysteries of the Force, they fascinate me. Yeah, the Force can be cool and all, I guess, but is it really fascinating? Get a load of this, nerd. Maybe you should listen to him, Anakin. If you were more like Luke, maybe you'd become a master, too. Maybe you should gargle my balls. Get off his back, Master Kenobi. Anakin means well. It is pretty great to be a Jedi Master. I am even thinking of retiring to an island planet someday when I've finished my mission. It would be great to feel the sand between my toes. Yeah, no, this is absolutely no son of mine. Don't be like that, Annie. Ahsoka, you've been awfully quiet. Uh, well, Luke, did I ever tell you about Ahsoka Tano? Yeah, barely legal in most systems. What? What, that's what you told me. Nice to meet you, Luke. I'm Ahsoka, your dad's Padawan. Well, damn, Ahsoka. You sound like a completely different person. Uh, yeah, that Mandalorian guy last episode said as much, but you know me in the future? Yeah, you came over to the new Jedi Temple with me. You were quite the help. 
Yeah, that's the best way to put it. A new Jedi temple? What happened to the old one? I quite like the one on Coruscant. It's very cozy. Please enlighten us, Grandmaster Luke. Uh, I'm not sure how much I should tell you. Trust me, Luke, we've seen it all. I already know I'm gonna go on a rampage and murder like everyone. I can't wait for the day. It's gonna be awesome. <sighs> but you might want to stay home that day, Ahsoka. Trust me, I'll try to be long gone by then. Well, the Coruscant Temple just feels tainted to me. And besides, the New Republic is rebasing away from that system after all the death and destruction there, and the Empire ruling it for decades. I can't blame them. That's actually very sound reasoning. I'm surprised. What's so surprising about that? It's just, hearing actually intelligent things from a Skywalker feels wrong somehow. Ah, uh, don't flatter me, Ben. I'm really just trying to set a good impression. It's not every day you get to meet all these important figures in the past. I have so many questions. I wasn't prepared when they brought on our daughter Leia, so I could hardly think straight. But, here, I prepared some stuff in case I ever saw one of you again on this show. She likes to put unnecessary amounts of effort into things. Me too. Although, after I do all the prep, I tend to just ignore it and rush in impulsively. Guess you got a bit of both of them in you. That would make sense. Uh, okay, Luke. What was your first word? Oh, no, wait, I have to ask if I did anything traumatic to you when you were a baby. I need to know so I can avoid that. Uh, listen, Padme. That's mom to you, mister. Yeah, show your mother some respect, son. Mom, you weren't around when I was a kid. I was raised by Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen. Uh, the who what? Those sand dwellers on Tatooine that held Anakin's mom as a slave? They did what? You lived on Tatooine? I'm so sorry, that must have been so hard. All the sand. Okay, to set the record straight here, I'm fairly certain Anakin's family on Tatooine weren't slave owners. They purchased his mother in order to free her. Oh, okay. I knew my grandmother was a slave, but I never figured my uncle and aunt to be slave owners. It'll trick the best of us. Didn't you know even Obi-Wan owned slaves? Ahsoka, what the fuck? No, I did not. You didn't? Then why does Windu call you master all the time? Ahsoka? I'm going to pretend I didn't just hear you say that. Don't make such accusations. I don't even think Anakin would say something like that. I wouldn't. Jokes like that are off limits for me. I may make the occasional racist comment, but I'm not going to accuse Obi-Wan of such behavior. All right, relax. I get it. I was just trying to be funny. Maybe instead of humor that is likely to get us blocked in some systems, you tell a joke about something more age-appropriate? Like what? I don't know, like lightsabers or something. I've been really wanting to try this new lightsaber whip idea Hu Yang told me about. Whoa, Ahsoka, don't say that. I'm getting Watto flashbacks. Luke, what sort of lightsaber do you use then? I've gone through a few actually. Had blue, but it didn't suit. Then I dabbled with yellow for a while, though most people don't know about that. Then I built my own properly and got the green. It's pretty slick. Where'd you get the kyber crystal for that? Long story, but I got it on Christophsis. Hey, that's where I first met Anakin and Obi-Wan. Yeah, that's right. Imagine that. Small galaxy. I had another question for you, Luke, if you don't mind. Sure, I suppose we can wait a while longer before trying to fix the world between worlds. I must ask, did you inherit your father's lame cartoon character fashion sense? Or do you like to dress in style like me? Uh, what does cartoon character fashion mean? It means I wear the same thing every day all the time. Ha! Huh. Imagine that. What a loser. Uh, dude, you've been wearing those same robes for like 70 years? 70? How old do you think I am? Um, honestly, I don't really know. When I knew you, you looked like you were ancient, but here you look like a newborn in comparison. If you think Obi-Wan looks young now, I can't imagine how old he must look in the future. I'll have you know I have a killer skincare routine, and I change my robes often. I just, like the same colors is all. I guess I dress like a cartoon character then. I like the all black. It's like symbolism. Damn it. I guess Anakin wins that one. At least Leia seems to change her outfit every two seconds. Hey, at least our son got your good looks. Whoa, settle down there, Dad. I'm sure he didn't mean it like that, Luke. Oh, I did. I did mean it like that. Did you take your meds today, Anakin? He did. I watched him take them. He's just a little hyper is all. He needs a nap after we finish our episode. Why are you treating him like he's a toddler? Because he is, basically. I'm not a toddler. I'm a big boy. A very good big boy, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I am. You all scare me. We get that a lot. Sorry, Luke. You'll have to bear with us. Luke, have you done anything weird lately? Like what? Like, I don't know. Commit any war crimes? Make any bizarre friends? Kiss the wrong girl? How did you know about that? Did Leia tell you? Why would she tell you that? Whoa, kid. Relax. What are you talking about? I was just trying to tease you. So, she didn't tell you? Tell me what? Nothing. Forget about it. 
You can't just leave us hanging like that, kid. Can you stop calling me a kid? Uh, I'm a Jedi Grandmaster. You should treat me with some respect. Whoa, okay, geez. Hit a nerve there. You act like you kissed your sister or something. Uh, Luke? Anakin, you always did have a talent at making family matters more complicated. Yeah, who needs holonet dramas when we have you? Right, well, who needs more family drama? Perhaps you'd like a break from this conversation, Luke. Yes, please. Uh, we should focus on why you brought me here in the first place. Interesting strategy to bring on a future Jedi Grandmaster to help us fix the world between worlds. I figured if anybody would know how, they'd be from ahead of our time. I mean, nobody here knows what the hell is going on. I'll just wait here and leave you Jedi to your business. This is getting a bit too mystic for me. So as you can see, there's some cracks visible throughout the world between worlds. They used to be bigger. We've closed them up the best we can. I see. And you've tried a human sacrifice? See, I told you guys it was a good idea. Yes. We threw Anakin's corpse in one time, and it made the cracks smaller. You threw my corpse in there? Oh, damn it. We didn't even do anything. We're literally just standing here. What have you guys been doing to this place? We've just been abusing it to bring people back from the dead after I killed them. How many times have you done that? Uh, what episode are we on? Oh, for crying out loud, can you just tell us what we can do to fix this, Luke? Look, relax. Just send me back and pull me out in a few years when I have time to study it. I'll have an answer for you. Okay, I trust you, son. Good luck. May the Force be with you. Well, he is a Skywalker, so I'd say the odds are about 70-30. In his favor, right? Oh, no, Snips. No. That's not helping. Let's see. Ah, this should work. Ah, what the hell? Whoa, it's you. How? No, you idiots. It's too late. What? What's going on? I can't help you anymore. I'm cut off from the force. Get someone else to pick your battles. What are you talking about? You said you'd help us. Maybe throw another body into it. I'm going back to suck on some Thala siren titties. Oh, great. What do we do now? We do as Luke says. Was that really necessary? Hey, he sacrificed me last time. It's only fair. See, it worked just fine. The crack is repaired. Kind of. I thought you said therapy was working for you, Anakin. It is. I just wanted a little revenge. Obi-Wan deserved to die. You're killing again? Then you know what, Anakin? You deserve a sand bath. Padme, no, I promise it isn't like that. Please, no, I won't. <laughs> So, Obi-Wan is still dead. Are we leaving him there? We should have a galactic no Obi-Wan day as a break. We've all earned it. Anakin paid for that day dearly. Subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. Comment something about soap if you made it this far. See ya.